Good evening. I appreciate you picking up the phone and joining us. I know you say you do anticipate more arrests. Please keep us posted. I also want to be clear, we did reach out to the attorneys for the suspects, but have not gotten a response yet. Now this. I'll play it right now. I look through, uh, look through it, and you also list out, um, you know, what investigators found at several of these homes, including uh, a water bomb, pipes, cash, high times, magazines. Uh, do you have any idea how much marijuana was sold over? I know it's you talk about five years here in the criminal complaint. How, how much pot? How much money made? Well, uh, we're not sure on the on the financial transactions and the, and the exact money figures. The one of the defendants uh, allegedly, uh, in this case, Scott Peterson, admitted to uh, selling approximately 15 completed the phase, the first phase, as I have termed it, of the investigation, which resulted in charges against these three individuals. Um, I think the total a number of people that were named in the criminal complaint amounted to approximately 14. Yeah, I'm looking at the criminal right out of their homes. I really liked him, but I mean, that just makes me lose respect. One of them was my teacher. I seemed like he never did that. I mean, I even been off to his house before, and now it's just completely shocked, and I'm just quite in the middle. On the phone, we have the sheriff um, of Langley County, Wisconsin, Bill Greening. Um, sheriff. I guess my first question, when I heard about this story, I just have to get this out of the way. If we're talking about a, you know, a principal and a football coach, were they, do you know at all if they were selling drugs to the students? Uh, no, we have okay. no information uh, to this point in the investigation that any alleged illegal activity. This may turn out to be the town disgrace. John Lund used to be used to be the acting principal of an elementary school in Antigo, Wisconsin, uh, as well as the high school football coach. But he is on leave now. Police just busted him for allegedly selling pot to teachers in his school district. Also part of this sweep, Lund's brother-in-law, uh, Bradley Moss, a former special education teacher, and coach Scott Peterson. The men, according to the sheriff, sold marijuana. Right? How, how much pot, how much money made? Well, uh, we're not sure on the, on the financial transactions and the, and the exact money figures. The, one of the defendants uh, allegedly, uh, in this case, Scott Peterson, admitted to uh, selling approximately 15, 15 pounds of marijuana uh, over a five-year period. Okay. You said there was no indication that drugs were sold on school property. You said they were sold out of these different homes, correct? That's correct. You're the county sheriff. You say this guy has been here all his life. You know him? Are you shocked? 